good evening dear students i hope all are fine and safe and give more care for your health welcome back to social science class in the previous class we have learned about the ashoka the great ruler of maurya dynasty and about the principles of dhamma which was introduced by ashoka today we are going to learn about social and economic life of maurya empire first of all let us discuss about the economic activities of maurya empire the economic activities of maurya empire were controlled by the state Let's see what they are. The conquered regions were brought under cultivation. Irrigation facilities were arranged for the development of agriculture. The development of agriculture and villages led to the development in trade. Roads were established for the development of trade. trees were planted on both sides of the road potters rest were also erected at various places near the roads more than that punch mark coins were used for trade and for payment of wages mines and metallurgy were controlled by the government therefore the authority for minting coins was vested with the government the government officials collected taxes from the traders the accuracy of weights and measures was ensured immense funds were necessary for the rulers to maintain the huge army and officials in the country they collected different kinds of taxes for raising funds different kinds of taxes of period are mentioned in the arthashastra students look here a few of them are given below bhaga tax on land bhali tax on fruits and flowers udaga bhaga tax on water shulka tax on export and import of goods next let us discuss about the social life of the maurya empire during the maurya rule agriculture was expanded to a large area and handicrafts based on agriculture developed this led to the strengthening of a social order based on vannas which was centered on occupation according to megasthenes there existed seven social divisions at that time let us see which are they kings councillors magistrates artisans and traders herdsmen and hunters soldiers philosophers and farmers let's recall what we have learned today first we have learned about the economic activities of maurya empire the development of agriculture trade and irrigation the establishments of roads coins and the collection of different kinds of taxes next we have learned about the social life of maurya people they were mostly farmers and handicrafts the occupations were based on varna system and seven divisions of society we will see again in the next class thank you